if your capital structure isn't right, how can you possibly guarantee that there will be a positive guest experience? The guest experience is 80% due to human resource management. How ha first thing you do is make the help feel safe. If the staff feels safe and they feel good about the enterprise, then they're agile and perfect and ready to give the guest a good experience. No matter how fancy the carpet may be, if the, if the staff isn't with it, you're a dead duck. Plain and simple. And there's nothing fancy about that, and there's no getting around that truth. I don't care how many analysts and business executives flap their jaw at a meeting. It's about guest experience, and it's about nothing else. Nothing else. Well, capital structure, is it a shock? Is it some kind of a surprise that businesses have cycles, that the economy goes up and the economy goes down? The certainty of a business cycle going down and going back up again is as certain as sunrise and sunset. The difference is that we know what time the sun's coming up and we don't know what time it's going, and we know when it's going down. But we don't know how steep the business, the business decline or cycle will be and we don't know when it's going to occur. But we do know it will occur. Duh, is it a surprise that a business that in good times, a well-run business can make money, and in bad times, it won't make such good money, and in horrible times, a business can lose money? Hello? That a business can lose money? Is that like a news flash? If that's as obvious as it sounds, how could any responsible enterprise be run by executives that don't take that truth into account? And what are we to do when there's a downturn? Throw the baby out, burn the place down, fire everybody, destabilize the entire workforce, change our service levels, stop keeping a promise that we've been breaking our neck to get the public to trust for years. What a, what a self-destructive thing that would be. How illogical and immature is that? That's exactly what happens in most businesses. A bunch of dimwits get in a room and start cutting costs. And you can, you can take waste out of a business, but once you get that puppy down to where it should be, the next buck you save, you've just changed the promise you made to the public. And you damn well better change the price or you're not telling the truth. And then you lose your credibility and you lose your business. Capital structures got to be able to anticipate the certainty of business cycles and the loss of profitability. Those are lessons I learned from the guy whose name is on top of this conference. It sounds like a simple lesson. I, I was an English literature major at the University of Pennsylvania. I, I didn't go to Wharton. So when I met Mike, I was a guy that understood about color and environment and people. But I wasn't very savvy about capital structure. And maybe that was a good thing because then I became a student who listened. And probably that's the reason why I'm still here.